This is Truth Testament number 23. Um, these are channeled messages from higher beings that were called Earth Changers. Now, the best way to listen to these is to, because they are channeled material coming in, um, I'm not channeling direct right now. I'm actually reading from the manuscript, but they are a different energy. So for you to get the most out of these readings, it is best to close your eyes, center, relax, and just put your attention on the sound of my voice. Our messages are now being seen by many more, and we wish to do a little recapping on how this comes about. When we are summoned from your realm, we need to step down through the ranges of frequency until we can communicate with you at a reasonable level for you and us. This level for you is when you reach up to us, and we also need to reach down to you. This is nothing to do with hierarchy, but is to do with vibration and frequency of vibration. It is a practice that is very good for all of you to be able to carry out. It is only a centering of your breath and your vibrational frequency, which then enables you to carry out this process of reaching up to us and to where you are really rooted. This practice can only make you more and more aware that everything on your planet is illusory, based and does not complete your purpose or your soul needs. It is a place for learning how to be yourself, despite being given many tasks and tests which do not feel into a, fall into a spiritual typification. Our lives or our existence because the word life is something that is used differently within your sphere of influence on planet Earth, is very differently experienced here in the realms of soul and spirit, spirit existence. We are very much in tune with our collective of souls in this realm, and we are also connected with all other realms, which does not need much adjustment from us, to become our focus and our inclusion. We find it difficult to attempt to describe to you how much our existence depends on all existence in our realm and adjacent realms. This has much to do with the linear course of actions, feelings and living ways upon your plane that do not in any way take into account the whole collective. You are very much living in a way which, call, which calls you to only adjust your linear lifestyles when you are in vision or hearing or in memory of other persons. We are adjusting all the time to the waves of vibration, frequencies and connections with our counterparts of our soul collectives. We are wanting you to feel what it is like to be part of the collective. In order to do this, many of you need to be more sensitive, more aware and more obviously connected to others around you. This will be the first thing that can begin the adjustments you are needing to make to become the collective. You are a collective, but very much a disconnected one one which is physically obvious but sensory-wise not very connected. When you are around others now, make sure that you are aware of their presence in an energetic way. This will start to broaden your connectivity with those that are not your family, not your friends and not your enemies. We mention this because many are more connected with those they would deem enemies than they are with other members of your collective. This is because they are emotionally connected to these people because of the power of emotional connection. In order to change the way that you connect with people, you will need to begin to become more aware of where your seat of consciousness is when you are around others. This is a practice that can be started when you are alone by allowing your perception to be placed on objects and things around you. Your perception of being present and with your own energy field 
will begin this practice. You may ask, where am I if I am not always present? The answer to that particular question is in your minds. Your mind is not your energy, energy field or your own presence. So we are beginning at the beginning of awareness and perception. We are taking you first through the process of presence and what that actually is. It is not complicated. It is very simple. You are required to be present in all entirety of who you are, an energetic vibration of complete essence. This could be compared to coming to the party undressed. We jest with you so that you will see the enormity of your missing elements. When you address people from your mind, it is robotic and completely disconnected from your soul entity that is who you really are. If you come forward for connection, then you are present with your heart and soul. You will be required to practice this by bringing more and more of your real self forward. In this way, the human collective will be strong and interconnected on all levels. This will provide safety and security for each and every one and the whole. We are only concerned with the whole. As we speak to you now, we are offering you much of the understanding which will take you through the changing times that are ahead and in front of you now. If the connections become vibrationally strong between you and everyone that you meet, occasionally or regularly, then the energy waves between you will be pulsing and strong. When you need to be given details of anything that will be useful to you, then the waves of energy and frequency will carry them. Even now, with the limits that you have on your connections with people, because of the mind being the stronger of your elements, you are still able to, what you would call, pick up information or suddenly realize something or some solution to a thought or problem. When these waves are free-flowing between you and everyone else in the collective, then this is your safety net of influence and solutions. It is also like the Akashic Records information banks, which are open and flowing between each and every one of you. This then has nothing to do with distance and differences. All information within the collective, whether in one language or another, will be translated energetically and understood. The power of the collective is a formidable gift. It is not yet comprehended that there are frequency and energy highways which right now have many disconnections and blockages. Can you see that without your prejudices and without your discriminations, your highways would be clear? But first must be the practice of your own presence. At first will be the practice of being in full awareness of yourself and then allowing yourself to be in this state of presence when with others. So we will reframe this self-awareness in simpler terms. It is not when you are talking to yourself within the mind. So there must be an extension of self from the mind into the body first. Be very aware of your body and then become aware of the sounds around you. Then become aware of the position of your feelings within your heart. This will also bring you in contact with your breath. Hold this position for just a few moments. The sounds will be acutely different. You are not only hearing the sounds around you, but you are also hearing the sounds of your own essence. Remember this and then practice whenever you have a moment to sit or stand still. Each time you do this, you are building a memory circuit, circuit of this behavior. It will serve you well when you are in the company of another, when you also stand still or sit, and this memory of your act of presence will come back 
and can be experienced for a moment again. As you come into experience of your own energy and frequency, you are also bringing that into the moment of being with someone else. The extension of your own energy field will be felt by the other person. They may or may not be consciously aware of this moment of energy's touching, but unconsciously this will be experienced. It is of no consequence whether it is conscious or unconscious to the other person, but certainly if they are awake and aware with their own presence, then the moment will be powerful. What you are slowly building is the web of collective consciousness of the collective, not dissimilar to your internet. This is indeed a net of finely tuned connections that go far beyond normal communications. We have spoken earlier in our testaments of how you will be required to communicate one to another without the need of technology. This will begin your process in that requirement. It will be as fast of a connection as the effort that you put into building your practices. Remember that some of you have already built very strong lines because you were aware sorry, because you were aware of the power of the now presence. So your lines of connection within this web are already forming a foundation for which the frequencies can travel along. Together, you will build the communication channels for the collective. It is a web of consciousness and communication. Both will serve you well when all other technology is unavailable. Our messages come to you direct along similar lines. Our channel is doing much the same when she reaches to us. If the channel was not open, then no communication could be broadcast. When you are able to communicate along these subtle communication channels to each other, then the, cl the cleansing will not be a problem to any of you. A thought can process at the speed beyond light. It can be present in no time at the point of conception. We leave you with that thought that goes beyond your science and your many interpretations of communication and alignment with others. Thank you for listening.